Hi, I'm Alex from Skilled Mapping and today we're putting a ski resort on Google Street View. Have you ever wanted to look at the ski runs in a resort before you book? Have you ever wanted to show your friends and family that run that you mastered? Or planning your trip to go to your favourite mountain restaurant? Camera technology has improved so much recently that we're able to map with not a 4K or an 8K, but an 11K spherical camera. We're in Outdoors doing the final testing with the camera. Please let us know what you think of all the images in the comments below. We're about to start mapping in Outdoors. We're going to do some of the roads around the resort. And we're used to doing this for skilled mapping in London, but it's a bit different here. It's really exciting being able to change Outdoors from the summer to the winter and be able to show you guys all the snow and what the resort looks like in the winter. I'm just going to put the, the roof mount before we put the camera onto the car. Um, it's got four magnets on the bottom and they hold really strongly onto the roof. I Everything's set up and connected now. It's really sturdy, uh, so now we can go out and capture some of outdoors. Now we've got the roof mount on the car, we're going to be updating the footage that Google have already taken from this year. And we're going to be changing it from the summer to the winter. There's been loads of development in outdoors over the last six months, and we're going to be able to show off some of those new chalets and developments in their best light. Here you can see an example of the images currently available for almost every ski resort in the world. I think it's fair to say this doesn't give the best impression of a ski resort. Now we're bringing the images we've been adding this weekend and you can really start to get a good idea of how the resort looks in the winter, which after all is when skiers are looking to come out and visit. see the difference. It's clear to see that the majority of building work happens in the summer in ski resorts. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. We're only in outdoors for the weekend before we roll this out to other resorts, but there's definitely some runs that we've picked out specifically that we'd love to show you. One of the runs that we're going to do is from the top of the Vosgenet Gondola, and that takes us down two runs, La Belvedere and then down to La Russe into Alpet. The reason why we're cho choosing this run is we think it will come out really well on Google Street View. We're going to go up the Vosgenet Gondola, and then we're going to get onto this, the Belvedere. This is where there's a really nice flat plateau that we're hopefully going to capture, and it's going to be most of the outdoors lift system we're going to be able to see from up there. And then we're going to go down La Belvedere, down La Russe, which is a really nice gentle red one, the red run that comes into Alpet, which is the first stage on the Vosgenet Gondola. So this is our backpack setup, and this is what we use to map the to map the ski runs. This is the camera that we're using. It's got four lenses and it takes a spherical image at 11K. Okay, backpack's on, let's go and match some ski runs. We've mapped hundreds of miles of Street View footage in the UK, but this is different. Some of you out there might be wondering what it's like to ski with one of these backpacks, and the short answer is, it's actually quite difficult. You've got the additional weight of the camera, and you've got the weight of the battery in the backpack. And also, as you can see, the bar is quite close to my head. That's important because the camera has to sit right above my head, so the weight is counterbalanced. So, as I've said, we've got the additional weight of the backpack. I'm going to have to change my skiing stance, but also there's an additional fear that if I fall over, this camera's worth more than my car. Can you believe how much snow is out here on the 8th of December? It's incredible.
I'm stood next to the infamous scare chair in Alpe d'Huez. This chairlift is famous for having a really steep drop off. So we're gonna add this chairlift onto Google Street View. Hopefully you should get the effect. There's a section where you go underneath the airport runway and then it drops off to a really steep drop. We're hoping that that shows in Google Maps. So one good way to view Street View footage and make it a bit more immersive is by using a VR headset. But VR headsets, headsets aren't really obtainable for everyone. So one thing you can do is I've got a Google Cardboard here. They're about 10 pounds and you do need a, a quite modern smartphone and the Google Cardboard app, but you can use it to kind of get an immersive viewing experience. And I'm really interested to see what the, uh, what the ski runs will look like and the footage in the town, and most especially that drop off that I just talked about there. If anyone has a Google Cardboard or a VR headset, I'd be really interested to know what you think of the footage. So please let us know in the comments below. Jumping into some street view footage. These are where the planes land with their snow skis on. It's really quite a sight if you're lucky enough to catch it happening. This caravan park has got to be one of the most scenic motorhome spot parking spots in the world. Now we're heading down towards the valley. It's interesting that the scare chair is where the proposed link to Ledders Alp is. If that link goes ahead, this is where you'd come into the Alp Duer system from Ledders Alp. This is street view footage that we captured in our pet, the midpoint of the Vosgenet cable car. You can just about make out the Vosgenet in the distance. You can also see the top of the cable car. Before we go up there, I'll show you a mountain restaurant with an amazing view down the piste. I know I asked you guys to tell me what you think of the Street View footage, but that's going to depend on when you're watching this video. As you can see, some of the footage is overexposed. I've made the decision to revisit the resort and redo the images. Sometimes your final test isn't your final test, and we had a really short time frame on this capture. If you're watching from mid-January, thanks for watching. You should now be able to see the footage live on Google Street View. We've had an amazing weekend in Alpe d'Huez. The sun's been shining, the snow's been glorious, uh, but now we've actually got an hour left, so we're gonna go out and enjoy some runs.
the end of our weekend here in Alp d'Huez. We've had an amazing time mapping the slopes. If you want to check out the slopes or the resort areas that we've mapped, check out the links below. If you want to see more content, then make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll be making more videos over the winter season. Make sure you, if you've got any ideas for videos, then leave them in the comments below. If you need another reason to visit the Alps this winter, there's another huge snowfall that's pretty much hitting the whole of France, Switzerland, and Italy. There's going to be loads of snow at the end of December and early January, so make sure you get out to the slopes. Bye-bye.